All right, folks, it's finally time. It's finally time to upgrade to Windows 10. Now, you've seen our previous video where we had some issues with our desktop, but right here on the laptop here, if you're gonna use the Yoga 3 Pro, we're gonna go ahead and go and do an upgrade of Windows 10 on here. We have it already downloaded and ready to go. We use the Media Creation Toolkit to do this, and we're at the licensing term, so we're just gonna go ahead and hit Accept, and it's gonna kinda scan through, see if we need any Windows updates, and if we don't, it should bring us to the next screen where it's gonna ask what we wanna do as far as the current files on our system, so. We'll uh, go ahead and let this go ahead and check for updates, and um, if it goes a little long, we'll go ahead and skip over this and head over to the next part. Okay, we've gone through the preliminary checks here, and now we're ready to go. It's ready to install Windows 10 Home, and we wanna keep personal files and apps. You would normally do that on a laptop anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and hit install and let this go ahead and jump through its process. So it's gonna do sort of the preliminary install, and then it's most likely gonna reboot, and then we're gonna jump into the second part of the installation process. So go ahead and let this kind of run and do its thing here, because all we really get is a boring blue screen, and we'll jump over into the next part, and we'll kind of give you sort of the images and pieces of what it's like to install Windows 10. All right, looks like we're here. We look like we're finally pretty much at the point if we've upgraded to Windows 10. Now it's kind of to go through a few of these setup menus here. So it's saying welcome back. And I can say I'm not Warren Bowman, probably let me sign in as someone else, but we'll keep that account for now and just click next. Here we go, get going fast. Personalized speech typing, settings. It looks like we can do express settings or we can, we can go to customize settings. Let's go ahead and go through customize settings and see what's there. The personalization options here, but traps, out time, and beings, typing, oh, typical stuff. We just put it next here. Browse and protection, connectivity errors, error reporting. Hit next. New apps for the new Windows. Looks like we have Photos, Microsoft Edge, and we know about that. We're gonna definitely put that browser to the test. The music app, which uh, is Microsoft Groove Music, movies and TV, and you can choose your. You can actually click here. Looks like you can choose your default apps. All right, well, we'll just leave everything at default for now. All right, we're at the high screen. You can see there, we're setting things up for you. Kind of goes through its little pace here. All right, so we're gonna hold and let this go through this, setting up our apps, as it won't take long. If it does take a little longer than normal, we'll go ahead and skip ahead again and um, get to the desktop. And here we are, we're here in Windows 10. Sweet, let's take a look here. It's like we have our start menu. Things are kind of running nice and smooth here, it seems, for the most part. Doing, still doing a little bit of loading. Uh, yep, a little lag there, still doing a little bit of loading of apps and stuff like that, some background stuff. But it looks like for the most part, we're pretty good here. We have our new background app added, Hangouts. Oh, some of the Chrome apps are probably updating themselves. Got our notification center. Wow, things are really smooth here. Oh, just swipe right from the side, nice. Home. Let's take a look here. Let's see if we can actually go into there. Let's go into tab real quickly here. Since this is a touch screen, probably work pretty well. Oh, oh, scroll up and down. There are all the apps there on the side. I'll have to reorganize this a little bit. We'll, we'll get more into that uh, a little bit later here. Right, updates being installed. We'll get more into um, tile mode a little bit later in a separate video. But there you go, we are upgraded to Windows 10. We can verify that just by going to system here. You can tap into all the taskbar, of course, but you can see right there, we're upgraded to Windows 10 Home Edition. So there you go, that's our upgrade to Windows 10. Let me know if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns. We'll definitely post some more videos about Windows 10 as sort of our Windows 10 series and experiences going through here. So this is Bowman here from BW1. Thank you for watching and always remember to live your tech world in high definition.